Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for so great salvation. We thank you for your word. And Lord, we just ask as we meditate, as we think, as we consider the book of Ezra, Lord, its construction and its uh, lessons for us, we just pray that your Holy Spirit would be our teacher and guide now in Jesus' name. Amen. Tonight we're going to look at a little bit of a review, the return of uh, the the breakdown of of the book of Ezra into two sections, chapters 1 through 6, we mentioned this last time, uh, deals with the return under Zerubbabel, and chapters 7 through 10 speaks of the return much later under Ezra. And in both sections, they're very similar. They both begin with a decree of a pagan king. You have the decree of Cyrus sending Zerubbabel, the decree of Artaxerxes uh, sending Ezra. We also have two leaders in each session, uh, section of this book, Zerubbabel and Ezra at the end. And then we have, in both sections, we have a list of the names and the numbers of the remnants that returned, first under Zerubbabel and then under Ezra. So we have that uh, list of names and and the number that went with them. The numbers were much, much greater under Zerubbabel than they were under Ezra. And then we have a a short account of the travel from Babylon, then Persia, uh, from there to Jerusalem. 